Good evening, everybody. Hey, hello. Where, where have you gone? You're not there. You're not there. You're not, I'm not there. there. Where, where am I? Oh, Come I'm back. <laughs> uh, let's try that one. Boom! There he is. Ha oh, ha ha! There I am. <laughs> <clears throat> right. Welcome, everybody. Uh, myself and Jamie. We are looking at South Wales Coastal. Um, tell us, tell us about South Wales Coastal and about what's gone on and why are we running it tonight. Uh, so South Wales. I'll get uh, the scenario going. Yeah, uh, South Wales Coastal was uh, uh, taken off due to the um, branding. Um, so originally it was a Reva Trains. We're now taking the. It's now been re-released with the branding off. But originally you used to buy it as two separate, if I can remember rightly. You used to buy it as two separate, so you had the extension. Um, but within this, you now get the whole route. So you now get from Bristol all the way through to Swansea because I think it originally it was Bristol to Cardiff and then it was Cardiff to Swansea. Yeah. So yes. Now, so yeah. yeah, it's covered. It, it, it was taken off because of um, the Arriva. Um, obviously, their um, franchise expired, um, yeah. and that normally signals the end of um, uh, or coming to the end of when we can um, sell the products. Um, yeah. and uh, which normally normally is about a year later or something like that, but then that expired as well, uh, which meant that the uh, the the roots uh, and products had to come offline. Um, I, uh, obviously, it doesn't mean you lose them, but it just means you couldn't get them again. But they're now back. Um, the team have been working hard to um, get them back, and all the branding has been removed, which means, as you'll see as we start here, this train no longer has the logo on the side of it. It's now unbranded. Um, which go. means that this is now on sale again, and there uh, shouldn't be any reason it should never have to come off again. Um, so, um, yes, you should now be able to pick this one up. <clears throat> right, welcome aboard 1 Victor 40, operating a service to Swansea. Your first set of passenger stops will take you as far as Bridge End. Open the door and allow passengers to board and prepare for departure at 1422. Go. Lights on. The instrument lights on. <clears throat> well, James has asked uh, what happened to Virgin Trains. Well, Virgin Trains had the same thing. They they lost their franchise uh, to um, what was it? I think they lost them to. I can't remember who who they lost it to. Um, oh. Now I'm asking. Oh. <laughs> Avanti, Avanti. That's the word. And it was an A, but I couldn't get yeah, further I'm... than A. <laughs> and somehow ad trans was coming to my head and that didn't sound right <laughs> yeah so it was fancy so that was basically it's the same reason <clears throat> yeah I'm not sure uh, uh, Neko uh, Diva has said about uh, the policy. I think there's been so basically Reva lost the franchise and think there was then a company that started up, didn't they, in Wales? And well, it's now, now it's gone back to government, isn't it? It's Transport for Wales yeah. now? Yeah, but it was something that before that, wasn't it? There was another <clears> company <throat> that took it over and then it went back to Transport, is that right? I can't remember. I don't know. I've not been following it that closely. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> At the moment, it's a bit chaotic in the railways with all the things changing around. Yeah, yeah. It's exciting, but a bit chaotic. Oh, Ryan's asking what you get in the pack. I will find out for you, Ryan. So I'm driving to Class 175. <clears throat> so you get the, this includes the class 175, the BR class 43 HST, BR class 70, BR class 77, uh, you get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 different types of wagons and a GUV and Mark 1 BG mail coaches. There's 18 career scenarios, 6 rail fan modes and a quick drive compatible. There you go. Plenty to do, plenty to drive, lots of track yep. to drive it on. There you are, I can't remember the mileage, let me just find the mileage. 
So 80 miles, there you go, over <coughs> 80 miles. There we go. No, um, South Wales Coastal, you're thinking of Hollyhead Chester, Chris, that's the North Wales Coast. We're in the South Wales Coast, this is Bristol Swansea. Yeah. <coughs> Hello, running with a 70 there, look at that. Oh, look at that. Bit of Colonel Cam, look at that. <laughs> <coughs> Bit of Colonel overspeeding as well. Yes. <laughs> <coughs> Can we get some parallel running in TSW2 in the AI? Hauptstrecker Ryan Roar is your friend. Yeah. Plenty of parallel running in Hauptstrecker Ryan Roar. Liam's asking, shouldn't the trains be red? Well, this is what would have been before... So this would probably be where the other uh, company took over before Transport for Rails would have looked like. You know, where you would have been running around with unbranded. Yeah, indeed, this is not a new brand. This is the original route, unbranded. Yeah. Hogo's development of a TTC route for TSW. Very well, Mikey, very well. There'll be more news and stuff as we go. Okay. Uh, Sharon yeah. Evans, question to follow what you suggested about CPU speed. Getting the machine which has 3.8 gigahertz, so that can be okay to run TS. Should be fine. Should nice. be fine. I think the min spec for TS1 is something like 3 gigahertz. I mean, actually, it'll run lower than that, but it's. You know, it just depends on your detail settings, but 3.8 should be fine. It does also depend on what kind of CPU it is, um, but my, my gut feeling is that should be more than fine. <clears throat> yeah. Getting on for double what Jamie's got. <laughs> yep. <laughs> there you go, Moggy. So Jamie's inspired me to create a new company, Transport for Rails. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not whales, rails, there you go. <laughs> I would have thought that you would have your own presidential train and call it Transport for Moggy. Yeah, <laughs> the Moggy, the Monster <coughs> Express, or, you know. <laughs> it doesn't need to be an Express if it's got Moggy on it, because it's never late. It's always exactly on time. <laughs> because when it gets there, it was when it was intended to get there. <clears throat> oh, Neko said the mock wrong. <laughs> Transport for Wales. Now that's a Star Trek movie, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> There you go, Moggy. What what would be your rail network then? Where would you run to if you had to decide where you'd choose to run a rail network, Moggy? Where would it be? In the south, probably. Yeah. <laughs> George Foster said hello to me, uh, to Matt and Jamie. How are you today? I'm very well. I'm very well. How are you, Matt? I am very good. I am very good. Very busy. Got so much going on at the moment, but it's all great fun. So. Yeah. That's what matters, really. Look at that. Another lovely shot. <clears throat> I can't tell you news on Trains in World 2, Gary. <laughs> we had to play Train Sim. Wait for a news stream to get news. Roadmap streams yeah. are your best bet to get in exciting information on Trains in World 2. Sam and Adam ha have the have the gen. <clears throat> oh, we've got Welsh guys. Jamie, if this pack is re released the route, if we own the old one before it was removed, do we still keep it? Yeah, so basically how it works, so it's dependent on how it works. So if you've got just the 
South Wales coast, not the extension. So obviously you've got to remember there. Were, that's the Bristol to Cardiff bit. Right, if you just have the first bit, you won't get the uh, this, which is the rebrand, unbra sorry, not rebranded, unbranded full route version. You will you will keep your Reva stuff basically. But if you get a um, if you have the full route, in other words, Bristol all the way to Swansea, you will then get this. Uh, you will then get this route as well. You can get this route. That, what, he's, what he's saying is, you get this route for yeah. free. Um, yes. But you keep your old one as well. You don't lose the old yeah. one. It's still there. So if you want to drive with the branded trains, you can do that if you have them. Um, yeah. And if you don't, then you don't. Um, you know, you yeah. can't get those trains now. But uh, if you've already had them, you keep them. Um, so, but if you already had the full version of the route anyway in the branded version, then you've been you've already been given the new the new release. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, Welsh guys. Yeah, I bought them, but yes, yeah, so you should have then the unbranded versions. Uh, uh, Welsh uh, gas. How much does this cost? Can you check? I think it's on discount at the moment, isn't it? Nineteen ninety nine. But for anyone who's looking at, you know, who wants yeah. the unbranded version, please double check that you don't already have it. It's in the menu under your route selections under the career menu as South Wales Main Line. Yeah. You may already have it, in which case don't buy it again. Um, yeah. Yeah, but um, obviously if you haven't got it, then fair enough. But do double check, because it yeah. has been gifted to a lot of people. Yeah, so always, yeah, before going out to buy it, just double check uh, <coughs> just to make sure you have got it. Um, but yes, it is on sale at the moment, and it is 19 at 99 No, we can't add branded reskins to an unbranded route thing. Because we can't distribute the brand in any form. Uh, Cameron Young, if you get a full license for transport for Wales, would this route get branded up? That's a decision that would have to be taken at the time. Yeah. Uh, question EC was asked if you have the old route with branding and reformat your PC, does it still come down branded when you install? Yes, because yeah. we haven't overwritten anything. We've added a new package on Steam which has the new route. So now you technically own both. You own both the old one and the new one. Yeah. <clears throat> so um, if you own, um, so yeah, if you reinstall, then they both get reinstalled. Yeah. Uh, MCK09 Gaming said, "How can you check if the route has been given <coughs> to you? So it should be, in theory, should be already installed, shouldn't it? In theory, it should just automatically." But there should have been a Steam download which installs it. What you should, what you could yeah. do, is find South Wales Coastal on Steam, and it'll tell you if it's already in your library or not. There we go. Yeah. Similarly, go into the um, career menu for scenarios, and um, just type the word South in the search box, and then yeah. see whether South Wales Mainline shows up. And if it does, give it a go and check. And you, like I did actually earlier on, just to check I'd got the new version, um, and just make sure that the train shows up without branding. Welsh guys, I don't know if what, what if any other changes were made. No, no, I'm not aware of any. I'm driving George. <laughs> Until Jamie's um, PC gets upgraded, I'm probably going to be doing the driving for a while now. Yeah. Unless we do TSW, in which case Jamie probably gets to do it. Yeah. Because Jamie's laptop runs TSW quite nicely. Yeah, it just it's not happy on TS. <laughs> no, it's because um, I think I mentioned yesterday TSW will um, soak up up to seven or eight cores quite you know quite seriously whereas TS mostly uses one core and it sort of it dabbles in the other cores it really doesn't make good use of the other cores because when it was yeah. written multi-core multi-CPU weren't a huge thing um, of course that's very different these days and TSW will take advantage of it yeah definitely if I became the CEO of Deutsche Bahn would I make all the red trains pink uh, probably. Make all the <laughs> wagons pink, paint the stations pink, make the drivers wear pink uniforms. Oh, that'd be different, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh dear. With ears. Oh yeah. I don't think I'll be the CEO of Deutsche Bahn for very long. No, I don't think you will be. <laughs> <clears throat> But 
that be all your, you know, Moggy, would that be on your, you know, your rail network? Would that be the uniform for everyone? Cat ears. <laughs> Black Moggy uniform ears. with cat ears. Yeah. <laughs> your pronunciation of some of the German stations may leave something to be desired, indeed. <laughs> it may leave a lot to be desired. Even saying the name Deutsche Bahn, probably. Yeah. You don't have to agree quite so readily and quickly. <laughs> I'm, I'm turning <coughs> up my German. I'm going to try and learn as much as I can. It's a sim said. If all DB stock turned pink, I wouldn't travel with them ever. Not that I've ever travelled on them yet, but I just wouldn't want to be given the reason not to. <laughs> Your loss. Yeah. <laughs> How's your French for the French route? Well, as I, as I said in the chat the other day, I had a bit of coaching so that I could pronounce Mediterranee, uh, Mediterranee a bit better than I was pronouncing it in the because yeah. uh, I've done the voiceovers for that one. <clears throat> now, the one thing I thought was quite funny a bit about this is that you look within the, the forefoot, which is obviously between the rails, and you can see little plastic bags and things like that. It's very, very typical of <laughs> British, modern British rails. Danny likes putting his, his rubbish on the rails. I, I like it too, because as you know, uh, Jamie and I were chatting before the stream, and, and uh, I was saying how much I like weathered. I like routes, I like trains, I like everything to look used, worn. Um, not half dead, but used. Yeah. You know, routes that are lived in are not perfect. Human beings are not tidy creatures. Um, <laughs> trains are not clean machines. Uh, and the weather is generally not kind. So. Whereas I'm the opposite. I like them all clean. So. <clears throat> no. Looks like a toy. <laughs> Who's with me? Clean or weathered? Come on, let's. Clean or weathered? There you go. There's go onto straw pole, time. Jamie, and to put a pole and put a pole in there. <clears throat> go to strawpole.me on your web browser. Create a poll, Clean versus weathered. Put it in the chat, and let's actually let's see. You know, let's let's put this to the test. Right. Create a poll. Clean. Or not everybody's on Twitch, Arctic Petrol. In fact, most people aren't on Twitch. Most people watch on YouTube. <clears throat> wait, 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 wait. I know. Wait, wait, you, I can wait already tell that you, you lot are, you lot are all speaking my language, and we're going to leave <laughs> Jamie out in the cold here on his own. Excellent. By weathered, I don't mean battered, abused, and at the end of its life. I, I just genuinely mean nothing is completely clean in this world. There are some locos that come out of the train wash still dirty. <clears throat> I'll put another one in there. <laughs> right, I will put this in the guys in the Discord so people know, so that people can put it in the. Is my car weathered? Yeah, my car is a little bit more than weathered at the moment. It didn't, it's, uh, it needs its MOT and uh, one of the windows doesn't go up anymore and it's got an oil leak and... <clears throat> oh, timeliness bonus! There you go, see Moggy, I can get a timeliness bonus. Right, should be in the Discord for... There we go. Not everybody's on the Discord, you'll have to put it in the chats. On YouTube and oh, Twitch. I've got it on there. Oh, hang on. Give me a second. There you we go. Maybe lose points. <laughs> you people, same full power takeoff, please. I lost <laughs> points. Do over. Who does that? Do Do you restart if you get negative? <clears throat> We've got another parallel run. Look at this look. Get loads of parallel runs. Cracking scenario. 
Yeah, my Astra does seem to spend too much time in the garage. It doesn't help at the moment. I'm not using it very much because I don't need it very much. I'm staying inside. <coughs> you know, lockdown and all that. Right, we're off. West uh, Swansea bound, heading for Bridge End. Oh yes, I'm definitely not talking about graffiti when I talk about weather. I'm definitely not talking about graffiti. Graffiti is not good. All 26 votes so far. Only 26? There's 298 of you. Come on. Come on, come on guys, come on. 10% <clears throat> of you that can click a link. Dear, dear. 29. Thirty-one, thirty-three is going up. Speaking of things that are going up, not my speed limit. <laughs> oh, you got one coming up in a bit. You got seventy-five. But it's going to take hours to get there. <laughs> favorite train, my favorite train, um, the Javelin, the Class Three Nine Five. I really like the Javelin, Class Three Nine Five. No, I like the Pacer as well, but that's kind of like my uh, my bonus prize train. Um, whereas the Javelin is the that's just knockdown quality quality train all around. Andrew Booth says, "I live in Bridge End. Can you give a wave, everybody, when we get to Bridge End? Let's Go give on, give, uh, let's give Mr. Booth a quick wave." Yeah. I don't really have a least favourite train, Mikey. Never really think about that. Oh, I do. <clears throat> Go on. That is that is a um, one five three. Ah, you see, I would absolutely love a one five three in TSW. <laughs> really? I would love a one five three in TSW. <laughs> Mind you, you could take that sentence and say, "I would really love a any train class in TSW," and it'll probably <laughs> yeah. still be true. So. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Please don't take that as a hint that there is a 153 coming in TSW. No, <laughs> yeah, do not give that a hint. Well, so far we've had 63 votes. Well, it's getting there then. Yeah. Danny would like a 376. They're interesting. I quite, I do, I must admit, I quite like the look of 376 because they're different. They're a bit different. Certainly for trains down here in in South. Is there any train you would not love in TSW? No. <laughs> all the trains, all all the routes yesterday. You know how it goes. Yeah. Oh, you hate the 376 line, fair enough. <laughs> you hate the look of the 141. Why, Mikey? What's wrong with the 141? See, I, I tend to veer towards trains that have got ugly looks to them. You know, look at the um, the coffee pot, the Q1. You know, that is the epitome of utility. Yeah, they were just like, oh, I don't care what it looks like. It didn't need I mean, to bother what it was looked like. It just needed to be powerful and do well, and it did. Yeah. But I, I mean, think it it's really gorgeous loco. Custom hit, so you want a Marmite train? See, now, that if there was such a thing as a Marmite train... That'd be on the hate list. <laughs> there you go. There, Fortunately, there's, there's there isn't. So, yeah, <coughs> there'll, there'll be some people who'll be getting the TSW2 livery designer and making a marmite jar now for you, man. <laughs> that wouldn't surprise me. Um, uh, Roy Fonseca, Dyson is a ninety-two. I've got sixty-four votes. Oh, 
We want to know the results so far. You ready? Is it the 92? So, I thought I'm sure it was the 92. Maybe I'm, I'm doubting myself now. I thought it was the 92. I'm not sure. I'll see if I find British... British Diesel. It's spelled British, right? British Just Diesel. Just the Class 92 nickname. Oh, that's, that's an easy one, yeah. Yeah, 50's the Hoovers, yep. Yeah. And I believe in the case of the 92, Dyson does refer to the vacuum cleaner. Dyson, British Rail, Class 92, so cool because of the sound of attraction blows make, it, make as they go past. There you go. See? There we go. I'm not as dumb as I look. <laughs> now, question. Here's a question for everybody else. What's a doodle bug? Without uh, cheating. JWAW class 67s are called skips. Because if you turn a class 67 upside down, it looks like a skip. And that's where most 67s should be. Oh, I didn't say that. <laughs> I actually quite like 67s. Again, they've got a really interesting look to them that's really unusual. <clears throat> There's, there's a question for everyone. There's a nickname of a diesel called a doodle bug. Without cheating, what do you think a doodle bug is? No, I recognise the name. Sounds small. It is small. <laughs> Shuntery? No, it's not shunter. No. Rail car or something? Warm. It's not that bloomin' um, L1 thing, is it? The old Leyland thing? No, no, not the Leyland. Not Lev. Lev, not that's Lev. what I was thinking not of. Not the famous Lev. Uh, Lev was I like the Lev. I'd love to get Lev in the game. You used to have that at the railway. We, the thing is, it's now sitting at a railway somewhere and it hasn't run in years and I think Northland were the last people to actually run it before it went somewhere else. No, you see? No, no, no one's got it yet. No one's got it. Do you want to know? Right? The doodle bug is the wagon machine and bower. Rail buses. Introduced in 1958. That was yeah. going to be my next guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the little ones that you, if you go on the thing, go bunk, 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 bunk. <laughs> See, that just sounds going, like a pacer. Yeah. They literally like the original version of a pacer. Yes, I think they are. Uh, one, two, ones. Yes, one, two, ones are bubble cars. One, two, ones are bubble cars. Bubble car is a generic name for anything which is a single unit. So a one, five, three is a bubble car. Um, there are other classes of bubble cars available. Yeah. We're asking for some horn, please, Matt. <coughs> Hey British Ace, how's it going? Going via Miskin Downline. My custom hitcher is asking what a doodle bug looks like. What do I have to Google to get this, the image up? I will go and get it for you. Wagon and machine by a rail car. I see there was an American doodle bug. That was a rail car. Yeah. There's one base, I think there's one base at Langosland, one base, or the what, uh, I can't remember where they all are based. You're trying to distract me now, aren't you? <laughs> no, no. This is a cunning ploy because he knows <laughs> there's a red light coming up. 
to heck with it. I'm speeding up. Hey. One five threes have lots of nicknames. I think isn't Dogbox one of their nicknames as well because of how um, how comfortable they are. So currently we have 66 votes, and I will go into the order of what, who wants them. So I did three because I was like, well, some people like in the middle, don't they? They're like half clean and half women. Go on, and so position three. <sighs> clean is in position three. <laughs> in the middle is in the middle, funnily enough. And weathered is at the top with. 50% of the votes. There you go. Votes. And how many votes did Clean get other than yours? I didn't vote, but we okay. had 13. 13 for Clean. 20 for In the Middle. <coughs> 33 for Weathered. This feels completely appropriate to me. <laughs> I have sent you a photograph, Mazu, of the wagon and machine power. Although it is in black and white. <laughs> oh, that thing! That thing. The Daypole model kit. Yes. Well, yeah. That thing. That. There we go. That is in a wagon and machine now. And Helljan make one of those as well. They do. We've got one of those on the OMR. Oh, so that is a doodle bug. Yeah, Matt's looking at pictures of trains while he's driving. It doesn't <laughs> lead to the greatest driving quality. Actually, that's a, just a cover, because my driving quality is no different at all when I'm doing lots of other things. It's that bad. <laughs> what do we got here? Eight miles to bridge end. Let's go outside for a bit, shall we? Smack my face with trees a whole bunch. Yeah. <laughs> Go look at that. Lovely. Where'd the train go? Oh, there it is. Over Hey! Hey! <laughs> Two car. So George Foster said, right, I'm off. Thank you so much, Matt and Jamie, for a fantastic stream, as always. Hope you have a good rest of your Thursday evening. Stay safe and goodbye all. Yeah, see you, George. Thank you very much. See you later. <clears throat> oh, Vixatron, sometimes you just have to get out of the cab and fly around. Yep. Yeah. And then go back to your stationary train with alarms beeping all over it. Yep. <laughs> uh, make me a pint that said Ke Keelingworth Valley have two German doodle bugs. A bouncer than a bouncier than a pacer. Yes, they are. Very much. No, I fully expect that. Can I do the passenger announcement for Bridge End? I have no idea what the passenger announcement for Bridge End is. Oh, hello, I'm over speeding. Hello. That's a shocker. <laughs> My score's going to be just rocking. Yeah. <laughs> as long as you got it in the plus, you're fine. <laughs> We're good then. Yeah. We've won. J Wall Photography 24 says I've done over 10,000 miles on TSW, most of them coming from the East Coast way. Wow. Well, well done. done. That's that's amazing. Train Boy 224 is just a normal trip for Matt right now. <laughs> yeah. Speed limit adherence is just a wiggly line over and above, uh, above and below, and above and below, and above and below. <laughs> Durfast, is the reason the Pacer hasn't been released that it's difficult to replicate? No, a bit like every other train that hasn't been replicated, we just haven't got to it yet. 
not doing a train is not because we can't do it or don't want to do it or anything else. It just means there are a bazillion chains, trains in the world, you know, give or take a few. Um, we can't do them all at once. That would be an interesting question of how many classes of locomotives have been built all over the world since the locomotive was designed. I bet there's quite a few. <laughs> I would imagine there are a few, yes. Yeah. Four miles. Well, the simple answer is loads, yes. Yep. <laughs> oh, another HST. Who's been watching the Great Western uh, series? If you're in the UK watching on Channel 5. Uh, Pendolino kid, this is Waste of Route. The old one was fine. Uh, it wasn't fine because most people couldn't buy it. And everyone said, can you take the branding off and bring it back? So we did. Yep. Then here it is. <laughs> Uh, whereabouts is this? Between Swansea and Cardiff? Uh, yes, it is indeed. Um, so, yes. it's Bristol, sorry. This is Bristol, uh, Cardiff, and Swansea. Another class 70. Well, it's two. There Double 70 is a 140. <laughs> That's how it works, isn't it? It's a, I don't know. Does it become a DMU? I guess it probably does, technically. Probably. We better break on. I don't, there was someone asked about whether it had, it had the whales have started, when are they going to get their flirts? I don't know. But I'll tell you what, you've got something to look forward to when they do turn up. They are really good. Will I read this interstation name here? I don't know. Shall I read it? Nah, I think I won't. Nah. <laughs> Transfer for Wales, I believe, will be getting the flirts in 2023. Here we go. Right, coming up got... into Bridge End now. <clears throat> go on, sorry, carry on. No, I was saying, saying that uh, we've got all the GA ones have now arrived, and I'm, I think there's quite a few other companies that are investing in flirts now, I think. Yeah, they are one of the those in the um, uh, Aventures, is it? Are um, super yeah. popular in this latest round of um, buy-ups. Yeah. If I do the announcements, I have to do them in Welsh. <laughs> I don't want another group of people hating me. <laughs> uh, Cameron, yes, they are. Yeah, they're the ones on the Great Eastern Main Line. Yeah. When's the next stream with Sam? Tomorrow? I think it's tomorrow, I think you'll find. Yes, it is. What's he doing? He is dry. Uh, no, I think Natalie's driving tomorrow with Sam and his. Uh, Mutian Alsberg. Munich. Munich, obviously. Oh, München. Oh, okay. <laughs> Which is German for Munich. And we have made it with minimal loss of life. <laughs> Would the APT be possible to emulate? There is an APT in this game, Liam. There is, yep. It's really good, actually. And it's got CAPT um, signalling as well. Or CATP. 
I think I was having a go the, the other day. Really good. You can get it in different formations as well, can't you? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, the APT is nice. Beautiful model. Munich is English for Munch, and that's very, actually very true, Silator. Yes. Ah, yeah. oh, so I did say it right. <laughs> Get out of this, my nice lady's way. And stand over the tracks, because, you know, reasons. Okay. There's all the plastic bags, see? There you go. Great work to continue this service to Swansea. Select O2, 1 Victor 40, Manchester Piccadilly, 2 Carmarthen from the career menu. No. We'll do a different <laughs> thing. Speak Spanish? No, I don't speak Spanish either. <laughs> right, okay, let me switch it into pause. And while I find the next one, which is going to be uh, Round Oak to Margam, I think was what you said I should be doing. So that's what we shall do. Yep. I know it's a snowy one. I know that. <clears throat> Here's the art at Port Talbot Steelworks, still limited to a very painful five miles per hour. I have no idea, Cameron. I imagine that's the same. I imagine that's because it really is five miles per hour, isn't it? Do announcements in Korean now? I'm not there yet. <laughs> Quiet Fox says, apparently, I didn't know this, there are 14 places named Newport in the UK. Wow. wow. Doesn't seem very new now, does it? No. Good afternoon, driver. Welcome aboard Service 6 Victor 05. You'll be at the controls of this Class 70 from Clan Wen, from where you'll take a consist of empty coal hoppers to Cardiff. Keep a careful eye out. The weather doesn't seem to be holding up. Take Papa depart when you are ready. This looks rubbish. Yeah. I just want to say thanks. Right. <laughs> I love how you got separate wipers in this. It's brilliant. Brakes coming off. Let's check signal of a track. We're good. We got whites. How many hoppers? All of them. Uh, <laughs> all the hoppers. Oh my word. Mind you, there's empty trains, so there's not actually that much weight behind there. These things aren't that heavy when they're empty. No. Who needs to speak Korean if you can enunciate in Welsh? I don't know. I'm not convinced as to which one would be harder, to be fair, because Korean doesn't really... It's not that difficult, not to speak it anyway. Don't say it's easy, they'll all be asking next. It's not easy. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, you're in the minus. <laughs> uh, start as I mean to go on. Yeah. <laughs> You're guessing the hard part is the characters. Actually, Hangul doesn't take long to learn. It's really clever. It's really interesting because the way the sounds go together is all based on the sounds that you can relatively straightforward make. Um, it's it's a quite it is quite a modern language because originally in Korea they used Chinese until around the 1600s um, in the Joseon Empire when they developed their own language called Hangul. Oh, I learned, learned something new today, then. <laughs> no, I spent a lot of time reading up on a career in the history of Korea. It's a fascinating place. But I won't bore you all with that. For a change. <laughs> Ten miles an hour, yeah? It speeds yeah. up, yeah? Yeah, it does, I think, eventually. <laughs> This is why they say don't put your feet on the dashboard. Can you imagine the amount of drivers that want to do that while they were doing this this amount of 10 miles an hour? Well, I don't know. I think DSD might have something to say about that. <laughs> that is very true. And if you've got one, one foot on the DVD and one foot on the dash, I don't yeah. think you'd be that comfortable. <laughs> no, I don't think you'd be. 
<laughs> Welsh is, is mostly phonetic. Well, that's the key thing with most foreign languages is to get the, the is to not try and say the um, the words in the, in the, the, that language using English phonemes. That's where it goes wrong. You know, that's one of the first things. Why, when, when you learn Korean, this is what I'm just going to use that because it's what I'm learning. When they learn, when you learn Korean, they always say learn Hangul first and learn the phonetics for each of the characters and say the words using. You write it down in um, Hangul and you say it using their phonetics because otherwise it'll sound really bad and you'll never remember it. It's really difficult. Whereas if you remember the fact that you know they've got one symbol for words like yo. Um, that's one character essentially, um, ah. and wo and woo and wa. And, you know, that's all. It's effectively two symbols mushed together um, to turn a ah into wa. You know, and they don't have the same. Like for example, if you ask, um, if you watch Korean dramas, you see they don't have. They don't talk about unless they've unless they've learned how to speak in English, which a lot of them do, uh, because you know everybody in the world is far superior um, the English uh, than the English. Um, the um, they don't say, for example, they don't have an F sound. So when they go for coffee or they talk about coffee, they call it copy because they haven't got an F sound in their phonetics. Oh, uh, we see. So it's about when any when you learn any foreign languages, um, always character set and phonetics, and then build it out from there, and then build up your grammar and and so forth. I talk like I'm so I'm, I'm trying to put forward like I'm some sort of expert. I really am not, but. <laughs> Um, it's certainly what's helping me so far. One of the reasons I wanted to learn Korean was because it was so different. And I've decided that once I get to a level of competency with, with this Korean, I'm going for Chinese. Because I'm fascinated. Nice. Now I know how the character set, how Hangul works, I'm, I'm fascinated in the pictograms in um, Chinese. Oliver, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that station name. Clanfair PG! Done. <laughs> I would love to see Korean trains in TSW uh, Arctic. Yeah, probably won't be anything done by the company though. I am wanting to make. I want to make a route called the Tayback Line myself. Um, in uh, it's about eighty or so miles, covers some absolutely beautiful area. Picking it mostly because it's one of the shortest ones I could find. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, the highlight would be Seoul to Busan high-speed KTX, but. Because they run basically TGVs. Will you ever demonstrate positive train control? Um, we have in various guises, Amtrak. Um, you know what? 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 What would you like us to show you? Because access uh, is implemented in Train Sim World and the ACS sixty four. I believe it's implemented. Is it implemented? I can't remember if access is implemented in TS ones. A seller on ACS 64. I believe it is. I might oh, be thinking of just sure. ATC though. Don't know. Maybe access isn't actually. No, it's not implemented on the Long Island Railway, no. <clears throat> Didn't I do it, Matt? The TS1 version. What, Danny? Did, sorry, what did I do? What? <laughs> I thought you told me this sped up. Where are we? Ah, okay. It's just the world's slowest um, relief line. Yes, I think it is. Have I made a 395 pink yet? No, I've been too busy driving pink TGVs. <laughs> oh, I showed a screenshot to the beta forum because I've been setting up the um, all the um, so that the repaint stuff works correctly, the livery editor works correctly with it, yeah. um, and um, or at least so that it works in service mode with it. And um, I got the settings wrong, and so I went into the um, the depot just outside Marseille. It was filled with pink TGVs. I was like, <laughs> oh, yes. Should I leave it? I think you thought to yourself, yeah, I should. <clears throat> yes, you did the pink 395 for TS1, Danny. I remember you did that, yeah. Yeah. 
I'm sure I did that, but I did not. I did not. <laughs> <clears throat> pink for a pink French dream, <laughs> Ruby says. <laughs> that actually wasn't bad, Chris. That was Avignon of it. That's actually not <laughs> bad. Oh dear. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to give you credit on that one. Imagine accidentally releasing the fully pink textured unit on release. Yeah, fortunately our processes are just good enough that I wouldn't be able to get away with that. <laughs> one of these days, like we're going to have to do one of these things where you're just going to have a, a matte released skin. You know, it's just going <laughs> to be a pink try. You know. I remember on the uh, on one of the CS on one of the TSW streams. I fired up the, uh, I demonstrated the livery editor and painted a, an American loco pink. Sam really enjoyed it. <laughs> no, we did. I, I think I can remember watching that because I think that was about when I first joined, I think. Because I remember watching it. When I was doing the um, some testing in um, for the Munich group, for Munich Augsburg group, I did some testing because I wanted to uh, just make sure that I, to see what multiple liveries would look like. So I just needed multiple different ACE, uh, ICE threes. So I painted yeah. them all primary colours. It looked like I had a bunch of M and M's driving around the track. <laughs> Spilled skittles all over the railway or something. Oh dear! Oh hello, bit more parallel running. Yeah, except I'm not allowed to go anywhere. No, that is very true. Danny did some really cool um, wagons for TS1. Um, did some un uh, some unofficial reskins that he did of his own time, which were quite fun. Um, did, did, Danny, didn't you do did, did, like various chocolates and sweets and things, didn't you? Did you probably did a Hershey's one, I'd imagine. I can't that remember. did exist, didn't it, Hershey's? Yeah, I think actually Virtual Railroads might have done one of those. Like the they did a, a purple kind of tanker that was the the, the, yeah. the right colour, I think. It's quite funny because when you go to the Fastiniog, they've got a, a beer wagon, haven't they? With a moose is it Moose Brewery? I can't remember. No idea. Tommy Danny says, not a Hershey's one, but I did do a fair few, although that was before. Yeah, I it was a long time ago, yeah. Yeah. I always liked them because they were bright colours. They were fun. No release dates announced for uh, Hamburg Lübeck, um, Joel. There's a bit to go before we get to Hamburg Lübeck, so. Not for a while is going to be my uh, my guess on that one. go finally up to speed now that was a long 15 mile an hour yep and oh dear clearly I, I needed to reboot this machine before this stream and remind me to do that next time Jamie before we start I will my machine has difficulty loading data off the disk if I don't reboot it because I don't reboot it very very often all oh, right it just gets left on doing its thing there we go, the British Ocean. Purple Moose Porthmatic, that's the one. Yeah. Yeah, they've literally got their a, a brewery wagon that goes round in their freight set. Which is fantastic. Is there an LGV preview stream next week? I don't know if anything's been announced on that front yet, but I'm hoping there'll be one shortly. Uh, you want official track trains for Ocean Oceanagate in the game? Yes, there's, there are many. Polish trains, the Polish Rail Company, they've got a nice range. Like their BR182, there's a Polish livery BR182 that looks absolutely gorgeous. So, Dean has asked, what's my role within uh, So, I am the community, I'm a community manager, mainly for Train Simulator. Um, so, uh, Train Simulator, you know, I'd look after that. Basically, so I'll be on the forums, I'm here in the streams. 
<clears throat> Sam and Natalie mentioned it earlier in the week as upcoming. Well, there you go. It's, it, it continues to be upcoming. Yeah, this yeah. is on an SSD, but like I said, what I've found is that on this machine, I don't know why, do I've got something set up wrong. If I don't reboot it, um, you know, once a day, then I've, what happens is the, um, the the speed of access for files goes right down. So memory, I mean, the processor, I've got a 2080 graphics card in here, and the frame rate now is, is really nice. But as soon as it tries to hit the disk, it grinds. So I just need to, I just need to um, tie a knot in a piece of string and remember to... Uh, um, or remember why I tied the knot in the piece of string, basically. <laughs> but Jamie can remind me. And I've just got to remember to remind him. <laughs> See you later, take off the landing. What's the configuration? Uh, it's a 2080 Super, uh, i7, uh, 6700K CPU, 16 gigs of uh, RAM, uh, and um, like I said, I've got an M2 PCIe SSD. It's not the fastest type that exists now because there's newer ones come out since I got these, um, but it is, was, you know, the previous highest speed ones. Um, you know, and so like I said, normally you don't even see the stutters, it just builds up over time. Yeah, it's equivalent performance actually, slightly better than the 2080 Super. I saw a benchmark today actually on it. It's um, showing the um, the graph, and it's uh, it's the same or slightly better. In one case, actually, quite a bit better than the 2080 Super. So actually, it's a it's a quite a nice card for a, quite a low price. Uh, Serpent train spotting and traveling what train are you driving this is a class 70 and it is it's another one of these um, America or Canadian imports um, it does look a bit different especially without the headlights on oh, <laughs> oh I mean, now it's interesting because if you cut off the second cab can you notice the little flaps on the end you know like what the what the um, some of the American locos yeah have. yeah can't remember the name for That'd be the fan, uh, the cooling vents. Duh. Oh yeah, this this is an, this is a US loco. It, it, essentially, it's got the, the um, it's, I think it's EMD. I'm not sure. I'll see if I. Can oh no, it's GE. It. It's GE. It's GE one. It says GE on it. Well, somewhere it does anyway. No, I believe this is a GE one. It's also got the the same similar sorts of screens than you're used to with the G, with American, uh, like Jivos, that sort of thing. Uh, General Electric, is that what we mean, G? Yeah. General Electric, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so they, they are, amazingly, I didn't think there was this, and there was 37 built. Uh, these are the Class 70, 37 Which built. one did they drop? I'm not sure which one they dropped. Come on. I'm not sure. First one in the chat gets nothing. <laughs> yeah, there's been 37 produced from between 2008 and 2017. And they run by Freightliner and Kelas Rail. They have a maximum speed of uh, 75 miles an hour. Yep, they got uh, 12. Well done, Son of Blackadder. What was that? They dropped 70012. Ah. There you go. On the 5th of... I've got it even here. The 5th of January 2011. Uh, 7,000 and... 70,012 was dropped while being unloaded at Newport Dock when the lifting gear failed, causing the locomotive to fall into the hold of the ship being severely damaged. That loco currently exists as, I think they they, they started using it as, um, it went back to America I think, um, and I think it's an SD of some sort now. Um, at one wow. point it was going to be used as spares but I think it got used for like experimental stuff. Um, and nice. testing out ideas, um, and then it and I think it was classified as an S, reclassified as an SD or something like that. I'm sure I read something about that because I was curious to know what happened with it. Yeah, it says dropped during unloaded Newport docks return repaired as GE test bed. Yeah, GE test bed.
You never hear any in cab ping sounds from yellow boxes on Signal on TSW. Are you turning AWS on, Dean? Because unlike in TS1, where AWS is on and cannot be turned off, um, in TSW, AWS is defaulted to off, and you must remember to turn it on. SD locomotives have six axles, they do indeed, and you will notice six axles. So it's Coco! Indeed, GPs have two, uh, four axles. Oh, interestingly, this loco weighs 129 tons. Matt, you hate uh, PZB, how you do it, it fails and makes you late. Well, don't do it wrong then. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't do it wrong, it doesn't make you late. But yeah, if you do it wrong, um, uh, which I do quite frequently as well, um, then uh, yes, it will make you late. Can you speed up now? Lovely. Yeah, it's an interesting cab, isn't it? It's That's one of the reasons I like this loco, because... It doesn't look like your normal UK train. Even the 66 kind of feels like a UK train, except for the American control stand on the right. Um, whereas this one just doesn't look like anything. It's, it's basically the design. Yeah, you can see where the, this is, this is the US control stand essentially, sort of on its side, um, and put in front of you. And then you've got the two screens that would normally be on in front of you in something like an SD. has said they weren't sure if it was a maritime rail or cargo accident and zero 12 was dropped yeah I can imagine I bet it was an interesting who was the blame game wasn't it <laughs> PZB should be banned no PZB should be mastered oh and did you want to use have you found the interesting thing about the cab in the 70s which one? So if you go to the other chair. No, no, no. Go back. And then swivel the camera around to look at the other chair. And then. There oh. we go. Look at that. And he even squeaks. Dear, oh dear. <laughs> Matches my cab background. No, I'm driving a TGV. That's what it looks like in the back of here. British Ace Master PCB, excellent. PCB is a key success, yes. Separatist. New model bus, PCB is hard. Absolutely true. <laughs> Cars should have PCB in them too. Man, you'd have to stay so far behind everybody because everybody would be randomly slamming their brakes on. <laughs> probably be the slowest car drive in the world, probably. Mind you, if we have self-driving cars eventually, that would probably be a, a very similar idea, I suppose, in some respects. Just very, very closer. Yeah. Pithers yet to do the safety systems. Well, stick with what's fun for you. But if you're looking for a bit more challenge, that's where it is. Or turning the HUD off. That's also a bit of a challenge as well. You know, mm. turn the HUD off and drive. You know, like a real driver would, instead of like a cheaty McCheaty does, like me with the HUD on. Yeah. Now a way of good good learning for that is if I knew a route really really well, I'd turn the HUD off, drive it without the HUD. But if I if I you'd have to learn you you have to be so like for example, you know for me like the north of railway if that was released you know i would know how to drive it because i've driven it in real life so i know exactly where all the signals are i know yeah. exactly where you know oh yeah that's the key thing i mean that's one of the reasons i never turn the hood off because i do a little bit of time on all of the routes yeah. which means that comparatively i've got next to no route knowledge of any specific route yeah
Bony, I just said I've recently learned how to spot upcoming speed restrictions without HUD. Excellent. Well done. That's very good. Yeah, there is the B40. Uh, there's also the C40-8 without the W, which looks a bit more like an a GP38. Um, the B40, the B40-8, but then also look a bit. We'd have the standard cab on it rather than the wide cab. Joshua says Settle to Galal is one of the ones I know the best I can do it, without the HUD. Well done. Yeah, that's pretty really good. Very that's good. Very good. Wales coast or like the back of my hand really yes if the back of your hand work? if the back of your hand is wet you're too far north yeah <laughs> be just like the fish fans won't it Matt? <laughs> we don't talk about the fish fans <laughs> yes it was rather raining today and since it was absolutely Tipping it down here as well. It yeah, it was here, yeah. Jonathan B is so the only route I've been able to do without the HUD so far is Great Western Main Line, but only with the HST one. Yeah, well. I'm the same. I've done the H I've done the Great Western Main Line without the HST. That's not too hard. I have done a chunk of the NTP without the um, without the uh, the HUD on. Um, it's quite fun because you got to like remember to slow down for the um, the fifteen as you come up to um, Daly Bridge, is it? Um, sure. And um, uh, and then also as you you've got to also remember to slow down as you go through two tunnels before you get into Huddersfield. And the 15 starts just at the exit of the second tunnel. Bah. The fish fans video has vanished. Interesting, Mocky. I've not taken anything down. Oh, maybe maybe they thought that the sound of fish fans going in the uh, in the in the sea had some sort of uh, musical element to it, so they took it off. I don't know. The world seems to be going crazy these days about that sort of thing. Yeah. I once had a copyright claim on one of my videos and when you get a copyright claim on a video in YouTube they send you um, actually a really cool email or an, and they, they give you the details of it and they tell you where in your video they are claiming that they that their, their copyright is Yeah. and uh, this was a claim of copyright for a piece of music so I'm like but I don't listen to music on my streams so unless I hummed something accidentally because I try not to do that yeah. I'm really intrigued as to what they're hearing and so I listened to it and I was approaching Liverpool station in a pacer brakes on AWS alarms going off with the squealing coming on from the brakes and the rail and the rail noise as we came to a stop so I sent them an email or I sent them a response rejecting their copyright claim saying if your music sounds like a pacer approaching Liverpool Street station with the brakes squealing and AWS alarms going off you should find some different music to enjoy. <laughs> did he go back up again, or did they just? No, no, they, they never heard a word from them. In fact, I don't think I've had a copyright. I don't think I've had a copyright strike since then either. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. No, I never got a response, Boneyard. You never get a response from these things. It just the copyright strike disappeared. <clears throat> <laughs> Crucible says, now I want a drum and bass track with AWS alerts and brake squeal. Yeah. That'll be the next thing. It'll 
be like the James May cars uh, Top Gear intro, won't it? On the <laughs> you know you're using the car, you know <laughs> car noises. You get them a lot with games. Yeah, you do boneyard. So whenever I stream games or record them for YouTube, I always turn off the mu um, the music because I don't know if I've got permission to distribute that music. They've got their permission to give me that music to play in the game, but I don't necessarily have rebroadcast rights on that music, and therefore I turn all the music off. Always done that. It's very yeah. rare the music stays on any of my games. <laughs> Buying your own. Next up, copyright claim for the DBBR 182 Orchestra. Yeah, really. Hey, there we go. <laughs> Someone will be copywriting Do Re Mi. <laughs> yeah. Do either of you have train badges as in mini 2D steam train shaped badges? Yeah. I've got a bunch of them in the office of various different types. I've got all the ones that we've done at Dovetail um, for all the different products um, as pins um, and my five and seven year badges but I've also got um, a few of the little um, locomotive ones that a couple of people have sent me or I've picked up at shows. Like, if there's always a loco I like, or you go to a uh, uh, preserved railway in the UK, like, if there's a loco I like, particularly from that railway, I'll go and get the badge from them, um, of the loco, and I've got, I've got tons. All different types of locomotives. What's next? Streamers will have to pay to stream games. Well, it's, you know, it's, um, you've just got to be careful with, um, with um, music. It's not free. It's someone's work. I mean, I mean technically, I mean, I, I went up. One of the things I did when I when I started streaming streaming train sim, I actually had I obtained written permission from Dovetail to stream train sim, because technically, if you look at the EULA, <laughs> who looks at those? Uh, if you look at the EULA, it does actually say you shouldn't broadcast it without permission, um, and that's the same as almost every game out there. It's just that hey, who's who's gonna who, what game developers gonna say no um, to some um, some free advertising, and you know it's you know. It, Game development is about watching everybody enjoy your game, but music is different. Um, so, yeah, you do need to be, if you're streaming, be very careful with music. Make sure apparently you're using Byron, royalty free. Yeah, apparently, Byron, Byron Run has said in the past, Nintendo has asked players yeah. to pay for streaming their games. Wow. Yeah, yeah Nintendo locked down hard. I don't understand the logic of that, but hey, it's entirely in their, their uh, remit. Oh, yeah. Prepare to stop at a signal C C118 on Cardiff through line. We'll update you when we're there. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't watching. Just under a mile. We've got double yellow lights. See, I look away and I just wait for the AWS alarm to do its thing. <laughs> oh, look! The AWS alarm did its thing. <laughs> did its thing. I think Sam would argue very strongly that the thing you create of a train. A, two, a train two-tone horn is nothing like the Star Wars um, uh, Empire theme at all, and therefore would be fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, maybe it has changed. This was a long time ago, Insta Sim. To be fair, this was a very long time ago. said stop in Cardiff next instruction will be go to the chip alley for lunch <laughs> I've never done the south of Wales I've always been up north North Wales North Wales is the best part of Wales. Ooh, someone's going to be starting a bun fight. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Moggy says, I dated a girl from South Wales, does that count? <laughs> Is there a blue police box in Cardiff? Not anymore, I don't think. <laughs> there used to be a blue police box at the, the, in the dockyard. It's not, doesn't, I notice it's not there anymore. Because I've got a picture of um, my wife and kids um, acting like a bunch of fools. And there used to be one, I think, I don't know if it's still there, there might be, I think there might be one at Kreitch as well. Because there aren't many genuine police boxes left. It's like literally low single figures, I think. Wow. Yeah, it's something you don't really see, is it? No. Mind you, we've, we've still got... Yeah, you still get the red phone boxes, right? Not as many as there was. Yes, it's a red light, thank you. <laughs> How long have I been into Railworks? I mean, I've been into train simulation since MSTS was launched in 2000, 2001. Um, and um, I got into Rail Simulator the minute it came out and into Railworks the minute it came out. So, long time. Yeah, but is that a TARDIS or a blue police box, Insta Sim? That is very true. Because the blue police box is a real thing, and there aren't very yeah. many of them. There it's still the, the one at Blue Crouch is still there. Okay, good. Passenger service developed to fall just outside Cardiff Central and is blocking the line. I'm going to have to hold you here until clear. Well, time to put my feet up on the dole! <laughs> Tell us about a dole! <laughs> That'll be the next copyright claim. <laughs> yeah. Scored 980 though. I'll take that gold medal. Yo, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Would you play any other simulator besides train I play lots of simulators. I'm, simulation is my genre. I play all sorts of simulators. <laughs> all sorts of simulators. Right then, folks. That's it from us. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoy it. Don't forget, this is now back out on Steam again in the unbranded version. If you have the yep. branded version, you get to keep your branded version. Nothing changes. If you owned the full-length route for, between Bristol and Swansea, you've probably been gifted this version already. Just go and check yep. it. So that if you want it, make sure you just check to make sure you own it first. See if the Steam says it's in your library or not. If it's not yeah. uh, and you want it, um, then it, I think, is 19.99 at the moment. It's on discount, if I recall. It, um, is, yeah. it is. So um, you can pick it up. And it is the Bristol to Swansea. Uh, 17 scenarios, did you say? Uh, where is it gone? I've got it up here. I've got it it's up not here. ready. It's 18 career scenarios. 18, 18 career scenarios, so tons of gameplay in there. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, tons to do. Uh, 18 scenarios, 6 rail fans, because you're getting the combination of the two together. Um, yeah. So, uh, but there you go. Um, and that's really all there is to say about that. So, yeah. uh, enjoy, have fun, and uh, come and make sure you come along to tomorrow when... Um, uh, Natalie and Sam will be running the Munich Augsburg line uh, on TSW. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right, folks. Catch you later. Yeah. See you later, everyone. Bye bye. Bye. Bye.